Hi, I'm Kelsey from Crafting for Weeks, and today I'm going to show you the star stitch. So you're going to begin with a foundation of an odd number of stitches. Here I have a foundation of single crochets. So to begin, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Then in the second loop from my hook, I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, then in the next stitch, insert, pull up. Then in that first single crochet, insert and pull up a loop. And then again over the next two stitches. Now, when I've finished this, I should have six loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. That makes my first star. Then I'm going to chain one to close. That makes the eye of the star stitch. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the eye, pull up a loop, and then in between the last two spikes of that star, I'm going to pull up another loop, and then in the stitch with the last spike in it, pull up another loop. I should have four. And then across the next two single crochets, I'm going to pull up a loop in each. I now have six loops on my hook, so I'm going to yarn over pull through all six, and chain one to close my star. Then you continue across your row, working into the eye, between the spikes, in the last stitch with the spike, and across the next two single crochets as you go. The only star stitch in which you need three single crochets is the very first one. Each of the next will use two single crochets from your foundation row. So again, insert into the eye of the stitch between the spikes in the last stitch of the previous star and over the next two stitches along your foundation row. Yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then you chain one to close your star. Insert into the eye between the spikes in the last stitch of the previous star and the next two single crochets. Yarn over, pull through all six, and chain one to close the star. Now on your very last star stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet in the same stitch as that last spike. Once you've done that, you've finished your row. You're going to chain one and turn your work so you can work the top half of the star stitches. So now you're going to be looking for the eye of the star stitch that you created with that chain one space in the front. You're going to be working two half double crochets in each of those eyes. One and two. Then you're going to be looking for the eye of the next star stitch. You're going to be working two half double crochets in each star stitch. Now these half double crochets can be replaced with single crochets, however I feel that the half double crochet matches the height of the previous row better than a single crochet. Okay, now as you approach the end of your row, you're going to continue working two half double crochets in each of the eye of the star stitch. In your last stitch, you'll put one and two in the eye of that stitch. And then in the top of that star stitch, you're going to put one additional half double crochet to finish your row. This will give you a nice clean edge on this side. Okay, as you turn your work over, you can see that you have these nice defined stars on the front. And if you were to continue, you would chain three and repeat those steps. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on the star stitch. Be sure to check out my website at craftingforweeks.com.